Before we construct a 60 degree angle, I want to just review a couple facts. First of all, the angles of a triangle, any triangle, always add up to 180 degrees. That means if it's an equilateral triangle, which means all three sides are the same, all three angles are the same as well. And if you have three angles that add up to 180 and they're all the same, then they must each be 60 degrees. Which means if we're going to construct a 60 degree angle, all we have to do is to construct an equilateral triangle. So let's do that. We're going to start with a segment and then we're going to take our compass and we're going to measure how large that segment is. We lock the compass. So now if I were going to draw a triangle, I would draw the arc from each of the two endpoints. I'm going to draw the corresponding arcs and where the two arcs cross is the vertex of my equilateral triangle. So I'm going to draw the sides. Here's one side and I'm just going to go all the way through because what I really need is just this angle here. I could draw the other side of the triangle but I don't need a triangle. I just need the one angle. So what I'm going to do is erase that line and the angle that I get is 60 degrees because if I had drawn a triangle it would have been equilateral and all three angles would be 60 degrees. But since I'm only interested in one 60 degree angle, I can erase what I have in blue there. And there's my 60 degree angle. If I needed to, I could put arrows on the ends to show that those are rays and I have a 60 degree angle. 